Hi, this is Hank Kim, Executive Director and Counsel for the National Conference on Public Employee Retirement Systems. This is the video blog for the work week of January 20th. In the past, I'm sure you've heard me talk about our Secure Choice Pension Initiative, uh, an effort to get a state-based private sector retirement uh, security uh, for those in the private sector, particularly those who work for small businesses who have access to no employer-sponsored uh, retirement uh, plan, to be able to uh, join um, a statewide uh, pension plan for the private sector. Um, if, again, if you've been following this initiative, uh, you know that we got uh, legislation uh, passed in California. There's legislation uh, in Massachusetts uh, and also Oregon. Obviously, these uh, states are blue states. And what I want to talk about today is an effort in Indiana, which is a decidedly uh, conservative Republican state. Um, uh, there is a, a, a state representative, a Republican state senator, excuse me, um, who introduced earlier this year uh, Senate Bill 66, which in some ways is uh, very much similar to the California initiative where it would allow uh, folks in the private sector of Indiana to save uh, essentially uh, with the defined contribution plan, but it would be managed at the state level and thereby reducing administrative costs and fees associated, the high fees associated with saving uh, with uh, essentially mutual funds and retail, um, uh, retail funds. Um, I, I think you know, this is noteworthy because um, the, the sponsor of the bill is a Republican state senator and there's been recent news coverage about this effort and a number of uh, Republican uh, elected officials from the treasurer to other um, legislators who've said uh, very supportive and, and complimentary things about this effort. And again, what they've noted is that in their state, in Indiana, there are a significant number of folks in the private sector who do not have access to uh, employer-sponsored retirement savings plans, and they are facing retirement insecurity. And while some of them have expressed initial uh, resistance to this proposal, the more they thought about it and the more they read on it, um, they became uh, convinced that this was the right approach. So um, I, I think this is certainly more than just a democratic issue. It's more than just a liberal issue. I think for those people who do take retirement security seriously and who are involved in the policy aspects of how to provide retirement security, this notion of a state based uh, solution is something that is that is appealing to uh, both sides of the political spectrum. So I thought this was a, 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 a very interesting development. The legislative um, uh, likelihood of uh, this uh, SB 66 um, uh, passing in Indiana is, uh, I would say, a long shot. But we will certainly work with those in Indiana to uh, see if we can get that uh, process moving and, and move the ball down the, uh, the legislative football field, as it were. Now, speaking of um, state-based uh, efforts, um, as you know, uh, next week we will be hosting our uh, legislative conference and health care symposium uh, January 26th through the 28th. Um, at the Legislative Conference on Monday, January 27th, we will be honoring uh, Oregon State Treasurer uh, Ted uh, Wheeler, who has been a very much a vocal leader in this concept of a state-based retirement solution for the private sector. So hopefully you guys uh, who are listening uh, will be able to uh, join us in Washington, D.C., for either the legislative conference or the healthcare symposium or both. Thank you for, for tuning in and I look forward to talking to you in the near future.